In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of corns. You might have seen them on your favorite celebrities' feet or maybe on your own. Corns are not to be played with because they are these painful lumps of hard skin that grows when you wear the wrong heels. But luckily, you can easily prevent and remove them. High heels and corns don't go well together. That's why I'm going to show you how you can get rid of corns. Let's get started. You should always consult your doctor about your corn because first of all, I am not a doctor. So always listen to what your doctor says about your corns. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Most Comfortable Heels channel. If you are new here, my name is Vanessa and all I do here is create content so you don't have to be in pain when you wear high heels. So if you wanna be able to wear your heels for six hours to your prom or to a wedding or to an event, you gotta make sure to sign up to this free pre-course because I'm going to show you how you can wear your high heels for multiple hours. But let's get started with this video because the reason why you clicked on this video is because you want to get rid of corns. I already made a video on how to get rid of corns and in that video I really talked about how you can use these bandage uh, strips and put them on your corns and leave them on for a couple of days because there's a special acid in it that dissolves the skin and also numbs that area because corns can be very painful. I talked to Dr. Alyssa and I told her I'm using these acid pads to get rid of corns and Dr. Alyssa said uh-uh don't do that don't use that because by the way Dr. Alyssa is she's a foot and ankle surgeon and podiatrist so she knows about feet okay and she was like don't use this instead soak your feet in water in a solution of baking soda and apple cider vinegar and it gets your feet nice and soft and you can get rid of the corn by using a pumice stone and if you don't have a pumice stone you can use a foot rest or you could also use a foot foul. And also another way you could do, what you could do is use like these little knives. Like this is like a corn remover and just gently scrape off the skin. The reason why you don't want to use the acid pads a lot for when you remove your corns is because they can cause permanent discolorations on the spot that you remove your corns. This happens a lot with highly melanated skin. Getting rid of the corns takes a little while. It can take two weeks to get rid of corns because corns are not built in just one day. It's for you, from you consistently wearing high heels and shoes that don't fit right, so eventually they grow. So, and in the same way, they have to take time to get down again. By the way, I noticed that by, by keeping my feet moisturized, I really minimize the fact of getting corns. The reason why you wanna get rid of corns, because first of all, they are not flattering. Let's keep it real. But also they are very painful. They hurt. When you wear a certain type of shoe, you can really feel them hurting. And the easiest way to actually not have corns is to prevent having corns. And the best way you can prevent having corns is to wear the right shoe size. Pressure creates corns and friction creates corns. And the reason why your body creates corns is because you are wearing shoes that don't fit right. And some people are more prone to getting corns and some people will never have a corn even though they wear the wrong shoes for their whole lives. But you and I, we belong in the group of having corns and that's cool. I'm okay with that. Even though it's not cute. But the reason why we get corns is because the moment we wear shoes that are too tight, our feet, we grow this extra layer of skin to protect a certain part of our feet to make sure it doesn't get hurt a lot, okay? So when you wear shoes that are too tight, that's what you get. When you wear shoes that have a lot of friction, you can get blisters, but in the long run, you can also get corns. In other words, the best way to prevent corns is to make sure you're wearing shoes that fit right, that fit perfect. They should fit like a glove. And the best way to ensure you're wearing the right shoe size is knowing what your feet measurements are. So regularly measure your feet in the length, measure it in the width, and make sure you're wearing the right shoe size. Don't get stuck on shoe size. Don't go to a shoe store and just think, okay, I always buy a size 41, so I have to buy a size 41. It doesn't work that way. If you have to size up, size up. If you gotta size down, size down, my baby. You gotta, you just, you, you just gotta do what you gotta do to make sure you are wearing the right shoe size, okay? So don't get stuck on size. Another thing that I also see a lot, and especially in the summer, long toenails, especially if your feet and toes grows in a certain angle where your toenails 
touches each other, it can create a corn on the inside of your toes. Because you don't only get corns on the outside of your toes, you can get it on the inside of your toes, underneath your toes, on the side, on top of your toes. When you wear high heels, make sure you trim your toenails to prevent corns. When it comes to heel sandals, make sure the straps are not too tight, not too thin. You know those ropey sandals with the knots and everything? Oof, they create a lot of friction and I don't want to say stay away from it. Just make sure that you're wearing, when you're wearing them, they don't hurt. Number one trick and tip I'm going to give you. When you wear high heels and the first 10 minutes they hurt, put them back on the shelf. Okay? Or put them back in the box and just return them. The first 10 minutes you wear your high heels and you feel tightness, friction, pressure, get rid of those heels because in the long run, you are doing yourself a lot more harm. Let me also tell you this thing. Put some respect on your feet. I ain't gonna say it no more. Like, respect them, keep your feet happy. And also, what I want to say before I finish this video, so if you get cords consistently, you might want to change your whole wardrobe of shoes again and just start all over. Okay, maybe not start all over, but start with a, one pair of high heels that are a lot more comfortable for you, okay? So that is the way to get rid of corns, how to prevent corns, and do not forget, sign up to the pre-course of high heels therapy where you are going to learn how to wear your heels for multiple hours because let's keep it real, that's the goal. You wanna wear your high heels for multiple hours. So make sure you sign up to the pre-course, it's free. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can pop up on your timeline whenever I drop something new. And I'm gonna see you the next time where I'm gonna talk about how you can be very comfortable in high heels. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you, bye.